right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And the Road Warriors do it again. Three in a row on the road against a very, very, very tough Winnipeg team. And the Buffalo Sabres, the young, young Buffalo Sabres win their fifth in a row. And let's recap this. What a win. We get six points on this four-game road trip. They're 3-0 and on this four-game road, uh, road trip so far. They beat Dallas in Dallas. They beat Minnesota. Or they beat, uh, they beat Dallas in Dallas. They beat St. Louis in St. Louis. And now they beat the Winnipeg Jets in Winnipeg with Eric Comrie in goal. And he beat his former team. The Winnipeg Jets. What a win for the Buffalo Sabres. Let's recap it right now. Here we go. Goals. Buffalo 3. Winnipeg 2. Shots. Buffalo 36. Winnipeg 21. Block shots. Buffalo 15. Winnipeg 12. Hits. Buffalo 10. Winnipeg 19. Faceoffs. Buffalo 24. Winnipeg 19. Power plays. Buffalo was 1 for 2. Winnipeg 1 for 3. Penalty minutes, Buffalo 6 and Winnipeg 4. All right, let's go over the scoring. There was no scoring in the first period, so after one, it was 0-0 between the Sabres and the Jets. In the second period at 10:32, it was Buffalo's Owen Power, his third of the season. In his third straight game, he scored a in Dallas, he scored in St. Louis, and now he scored in Winnipeg. Three straight games for Owen Power. Assisted by Rasmus Dahlin, his 40th, and Tage Thompson, his 34th. And it's a 1-0 Buffalo lead. And then at 14-15, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, his 34th of the season. Assisted by Alex Tuck, his 31st, and Jeff Skinner, his 29th. And after two periods of play, it's a 2 nothing. Saber lead. And then in the third period at 10.30, it was Buffalo's Victor Olafson, his 23rd of the season, on the power play, assisted by Jeff Skinner, his second of the game, his 30th of the season, and Rasmus Dahlin, his second of the game, his 41st of the season, and it's 3 nothing, Buffalo Sabres. And then at 15-14, it was Winnipeg's Nate Schmidt, his fifth of the season on the power play, assisted by Blake Wheeler, his 23rd, and Adam Lowry, his 17th. And it's a 3-1 Sabre lead. And then at 19-17, uh, with the extra attacker, it was Winnipeg's Pierre-Luc Dubois, his 22nd of the season, assisted by Mike Schaefel. Uh, his 16th, and Blake Wheeler, his second of the game, his 24th of the season. And 3-2, to two, year final, the Buffalo Sabres beat the Winnipeg Jets in Winnipeg with Eric Comrie uh, gets the win over his former team. Penalties in the first period at 7.45, it was Buffalo's Jeff Skinner, two minutes for holding. And then at 17 minutes, it was... Uh, Buffalo's J.J. Paterka, two minutes for high sticking. And at 1945, it was Winnipeg's Pierre-Luc Dubois, two minutes for tripping. No penalties in, to report in the second period, so a pretty clean second period. And then in the third, at 936, it was um, Winnipeg's Nate Schmidt, two minutes for roughing. And at 1401, it was Buffalo's Peyton Krebs, two minutes for high sticking. And I hope Dylan Cousins is okay. He took a nasty hit to the face there. Uh, a butt end of the stick uh, to the jaw area. Uh, they're hoping it's not a concussion. Um, and hoping it's not a broken jaw. But what a win over the Winnipeg Jets. Five in a row. And the Buffalo Sabres, our road warriors. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, as they remain two points out of a wild card playoff spot. So now they improve to 26 19 and 3, and they will go to Minnesota on Saturday. And they are 25 17 and 4, 
and we've beaten the Minnesota Wild already, so we know we can beat them. Man, if we can go 4-0 and on this road trip, I didn't expect, you know, to go 3-0. and I knew Winnipeg and Dallas were going to be tough. Uh, Winnipeg, probably the toughest of them all. And the Buffalo Sabres beat them both on the road. So, what a win for the Buffalo Sabres, improving the 26-19-3. And... and they got to beat the Minnesota Wild now. Sweep this road trip. Go 4-0 on the road trip. Um, it, it just, it, it was a shocker uh, how they played against Winnipeg. Um, Eric Comrie wanted revenge. Eric Comrie wanted to beat the Winnipeg Jets. They're his former team. And they went in to Winnipeg and they did just that. So, oh man, what a win. We got six points so far on this road trip. And if we beat Minnesota, we'll get eight points. Uh, if we lose in, in overtime or the shootout, we'll get one point against Minnesota. Uh, but I want to win. I, I want to beat Minnesota. Uh, although seven of eight points isn't bad. Uh, we can pull... To within one point out of a wild card spot. Uh, if we lose Saturday in Minnesota. And if we win. We can be one point. In the wild card playoff spot. But we got games in hand on both Pittsburgh and Washington. Uh, the two teams were, were chasing for them wild card spots. Uh, and also the New York Islanders. So, uh, Victor Olofsson, uh, Tage Thompson, and Owen Power were the goal scorers tonight. And here are my three stars of the game. My third star of this game is Owen Power. He scored in his third straight game. So he scored in Dallas, he scored in St. Louis, and now he scored in Winnipeg. And it would be nice to see him score in Minnesota to make it four straight games. Uh, his uh, fourth of the season hopefully comes Saturday against Minnesota. My second star of this game is Victor Olafson, who put who uh, scored the game-winning goal. Uh, it turned out to be. Uh, because Winnipeg scored two straight goals. But Eric Comrie pretty much shut them down the whole night. The Sabres defense pretty much shut them down the whole night. They only had uh, 14 shots on goal, I thought they said, going into the third period. So the, the Buffalo defense. And Winnipeg only had 21 shots on goal the whole game. So um, it, it, it was... A very good game for the Buffalo Sabres. Winnipeg played tough, uh, but couldn't come up with a victory over the red-hot Buffalo Sabres, uh, who I believe are going to end the drought this year, and they will get into the playoffs. I, I, I just got that feeling. Uh, especially with the way uh, they're playing right now. I don't think anybody can stop these kids right now. And this is a team you don't want to play at the moment, uh, the Buffalo Sabres. So uh, comment in the comments section below on what you guys think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for my Buffalo Sabres at Minnesota Wild preview. And as always, go Sabres. Let's beat the Minnesota Wild. Let's sweep the Minnesota Wild uh, this year. Just like we did the St. Louis Blues. What a win for the Buffalo Sabres. Let's go get four. Let's go get our fourth uh, win on this road trip and sweep this road trip.
Go Sabres. Beat the Wild.